Hi everyone, this is Mindy Foxy and welcome back to my channel. Today again we are playing the cat lady. The last thing we did is we killed the pest control man and we killed his wife. Now we're home with Mitzi and we're gonna see what's gonna happen next. So we just got home. I don't know why I'm in the bathroom. I think I just automatically went here last time I was here because I felt like safe in the bath. Oh no, okay, never mind. I'm supposed to take a bath. I thought I went here for no reason. Okay, now we're gonna take a bath instead of a shower. I guess I deserve a long hot bath. Indeed you do, Susan. Indeed you do. Oh, Susan, the boobs. Cover the boobies. I'm gonna have to block that out now. Miss Ashworth, I need to ask you something. <gasps> Can I come in? Um, I'm in the bath. Is it something important? Yes, very important. Well, really? Maybe the world depends on it. Oh, really? Mitzi, d you're acting suspicious as fuck. I'm naked in here, you know. Whatever it is, it can wait. You can come in if you promise you're not a lesbian. Well, even if she was a lesbian, I don't really care. Like, doesn't matter. She's not gonna molest me. But now I'm starting to wonder, is Mitzi really our friend? Or is she gonna... Has she been playing our friend this whole time? She's gonna end up being one of the parasites. Just let her in. You can come in if you promise you're not a lesbian. A lesbian? I told you I had a boyfriend, Miss A. Wealth girls shouldn't get embarrassed of each other. Where do you get ideas like that? I don't know. It seems everyone is gay these days. What the fuck, now, Susan? That's okay with me. Don't get me wrong. But I don't necessarily want a lesbian to stare at my boobs, if you know what I mean. Damn, Susan! Say, if I want to stare at some boobs, I'll take my top off and look in the mirror. Right? Right. Come in, then. This is very true. I'm cooking up some pancakes. That's- that's- What do you like on yours? Is that- I've got strawberry jam, maple syrup, and chocolate spread. That's why- You said the world- the end of the world depended on it, and you're making fucking pancakes? That's why you came in to look at me naked? It's because you wanted to make fucking pancakes? Are you kidding me? I thought it was an emergency! Is that the reason you're interrupting my bath? Oh nice, I like pancakes, I'll have one of each. Oh, she's being nice though. Okay, fine. Oh, we'll have nice. pancakes then. I like pancakes. I'll have one of each. Oh no, you'll have two of each. Are you poisoning my I mean, pancakes? so many that'd be enough for an army. I don't really eat much. That's because you haven't tried my pancakes yet. Are they poisoned? If you don't leave me alone now, I never will. Really? Why? I can smell something funny. What? I think your pancakes are burning. Oh no! I'm so full up. Oh. Where did you learn to cook like that? My dad taught me. He was the king of pancakes. For reals? I'll wash up. If you like. Wow, they're like friends and shit. I can do that. I like washing up. Mitzi, you're so nice. You do. Really? You know what happens really? to nice people? I'm a good girl. They die. And this is my treat for you, after all. Looks like we got the rain back. I almost felt like something was missing. Do you think it will ever stop? Nope. I mean, what if it doesn't? Then we all drown, don't we, Susan? That's what's gonna, gonna happen. Rain for a million years. Yep, now we're gonna need an arc to get the fuck out of there. I'm not sure I get it. What's the point of that? What did you say it was called again? A form? For the third time. Social network. Why is it so difficult to remember? I'm surprised you guys have a I computer. I just found the whole idea really stupid. You seem to not know much about Why it. Why would I want to tell people that I'm having a shit day? <laughs> So maybe you'd feel better for sharing it with your friends. But I don't have any friends. Oh, Susan. No, you need Facebook. This attitude. You, on the other hand, seem to have 274 of them. How is that even Well, possible? they're not real friends, well, Susan. What can I say? They're I'm internet friends. Like you need an oh, Instagram and a cool. Facebook. So, they come every time you play the piano? Yeah, I don't really play that often. Mostly when I feel really sad. Oh. Maybe I actually play more often than I thought. You sado. I know a song written just for you. Remind me to play it to you sometimes. But I'll cheer you up. It's called All Flowers in Time Bend Towards the Sun. Flowers, yeah. Of course they do. Do you know it? It's written by Jeff Buckley. He would have been bigger than Cobain, you know. Kurt I've never Cobain. heard of him. Mm. 
probably didn't. He drowned in Mississippi when he was only young. Oh. What? Oh, Susan, you're so cool. Fuck. You're so cool. And sad, but so cool. That clock would piss me off. I don't know why you have it there. It's cute for the first five seconds. And she has a shadow bootay. So now what, Susan? What's to come of... I've created a profile for you. Maybe now you'll learn how to use it. What am I going to do with it? Just look for people you know. Invite them. Talk to them. It's a good way to keep in touch. Maybe you could refresh some old friendships? Facebook! I don't know. I can't think of any names. I probably never really cared enough about anybody. You can have a Facebook full of cats. What about people you went to school with? Your old colleagues from work? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Friends. Zero. At least they're right about one thing. I'll add you later. That'll be a start. Yay! Mitzi will be our friend. It's so dark and dreary and beautiful. Who's the next parasite we gotta murder? I wonder. I made us some coffee. Thank you. You're always making me shit. Sit down and talk to me for a moment. What are we gonna talk about? A bad day. You with some company. Okay. What do you wanna talk about? Talk sure. about. Sure. Coffee sounds great. See, you do have a friend, Susan. It's her. Hopefully she doesn't betray us. Then we'll never have friends ever again. What's wrong, Mitzi? Well, I'm not sure how to get started with this Are thing. you dying some I've more? I've been thinking about it the last few days and I just don't seem to get any good ideas. Maybe I've been a fool all along. Looting myself that I could find where that sick bastard is hiding. Oh. Uh, maybe I can help you. I have lots of free time, you know? Last night, I made this, well, map. Oh, righty then, I made Susan. a map. This is our building. All four floors. There are two flats on each floor. Okay. Very small building. You really want to help me? Of course. That's so great, Miss A. How will I ever pay you back for this? I'll think about it later. Make me more but pancakes. We haven't found him yet, have we? No. But I feel that together we stand a chance. A chance? At redemption. So, let's talk about it. What do we know already? I know that he lives in this building. I know that rude bald guy lives in flat six. I'm pretty sure one of the flats is empty. There's an old odd married couple that lives next door. We can cross off our flat, of course. There are strange noises coming from flat seven. Sometimes here I hear a dog barking on flat one. There's a woman with a baby living upstairs. Let's say the flat seven one sounds interesting. I don't know if any of this is true, but there's strange noises in flat seven. There's strange noises coming from flat seven. Interesting. What? Kind of noises. Murder. Like screaming, explosions, guns. Probably a television. Then there are threats and insults shouted very loudly at someone. Damn. Hmm. Noise. I think I might know what's going on there, but it's worth checking anyway. Domestic you know violence. The person who lives in that flat. No. Domestic I don't. violence. Guys. It's the top floor. I have no business going up there. All I know is what I overheard from neighbors' gossip. Oh, so you didn't really hear it yourself? A bald guy in I flat six. I know that rude bald guy lives in flat six. I told you about him, didn't I? I think so. It's that guy who came complaining about the noise, right? Yeah, you can. Right. Just fuck it. That's Brian Palmer. Let's mark him on the map. Yep. What else do you know about him? Douchey McDouche almost got us Wait. killed. I remember some woman lived there with him. I've not seen her for ages. They must have split up. Could he be our potential suspect? Um, I don't know. I, I guess so. Yeah, I suppose so. I think so. Okay. Let's take a closer look at him then. Well, I mean, I don't know him that well, so, like, it's possible. I'm not gonna say no. There's an old married couple that lives next There's door. There's an old married couple that lives next door. Yeah? What do you know about them? Well... The man is called Joe Davis. He seems nice. Quiet type. I'm gonna um, laugh if I heard him shouting a couple of times, and he sounded almost like a different person. 
like a madman, oh, you know? That's not good. I gather they must have some serious relationship problems, and they're trying to sort them out behind closed doors. That's never good. It's impossible to hide this personal dirt from your neighbours. I know it's none of my business, but I can't just plug my ears and pretend I don't hear what's going on there. Yeah. And the wife? Ivy Davis. Or is it Sophie? I can't remember now. Anyway, she's very polite. Always says hello when we pass by each other in the hall. Hmm. She's one of those size double zero ladies. Oh. So skinny you could easily take her for a coat rack. A walking skeleton. I bet she only eats a leaf of lettuce a day. Um, or nothing at all. Susan, you savage. She looks quite ill, actually. Anything else? They used to have a cat, Lucifer. Ho oh. ho! I often wonder what happened to the poor little cat. Lucifer the cat. They seem pretty suspicious, honestly. We can cross off our we flat. We can cross off our flat, of course. Yep, we're good. floor. We're leaves us well with seven flats. We're fat also, flat four. Old man in flat five, right opposite the Brian's place. Old man. Okay. Then floor flat one. Sometimes I dog. hear a dog barking on floor one. I hate dogs. I love dogs. Tell me about it. Noisy, smelly creatures. Can you imagine the eye of Adam being a dog lover? Can't see why not. In that case, it might be worth looking into. I am offended. I am highly offended. I like dogs. I have a dog. There's nothing wrong with dogs. How dare you? I'm pretty sure one of the last assembly, there's a woman with a baby living upstairs. There's a woman with a baby living upstairs. Her husband? I'm not sure. I hardly ever see her. When I do, it's usually in the hall when she's pushing a pram with a baby inside. Pram. She always has tons of shopping hanging from it. I nearly asked her once if she needed help to carry it upstairs. And? I hesitated for a moment, and by the time I offered, she grabbed the baby and the shopping bags and marched off upstairs. I'm pretty sure that one of the flats is empty, right? I'm pretty sure one of the flats is empty. Hmm. Which one? Number one! I think it's the one on the first floor. Okay, I think that's all we know at the moment. Okay, I think that's all that we know at the moment. You mentioned a pram. Yeah, a pram. What about it? Baby Which carriage? Reminds me, I found an old baby pram in my bedroom among all the stuff. Oh. Do you have kids, Miss Ashworth? You never talk about it. Is that why I'm divorced? What happened to my baby? What happened to my babies? Why do you want to know? No, I don't have children. I don't want to talk about it. I want to know though, so why do you want to why know? Why do you want to know? I'm just curious. I like meeting new people and getting to know them. Oh, of course. I can tell there's some dark secret you've been keeping to yourself for a long time. Well, I want to know, Susan. You tell me. You might feel so much better if you share it with someone. Like Mitzi. She's good. She's a good person. Do you see any kids here? I don't want to know about... I don't want to know about my problems. Let's just drink our coffee, yeah? You don't want to know about my problems. I just really want us to be friends. I swear to God I could do with one. I'm not very good at friendships. I thought that was rather obvious. Oh, oh no. Friends should trust each other, you know. Oh. I told you about Jack and everything else. Why can't you just do the same? Because Susan's you told a me about savage. Jack because you wanted to. I didn't force you, did I? My private stuff is nobody else's business. Susan, calm down. Holy shit, you're rude as fuck. Why sometimes. does everyone want to remind me of this all of a sudden? Isn't ten terrible years of suffering enough to let go and never bring it up again? Aww. Even. What happened? Even for me? Memory? Is there a memory? Can we learn something new? Please? No. I'm just gonna assume your baby died. Oh. Mitzi? Mitzi? She okay? She okay? She dead? Oh, okay, okay. Miss Ashworth, I, I'm so sorry. Your mug, it was an accident. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. You're gonna... Wait. You know, just leave it. I don't even care anymore. 
Are you gonna say there's fucking racket again? Because I'm gonna punch you in the face. If your pest control fucking calling bitch ass neighbor. Who is it? You're being loud and I hate you, blah 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 blah. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? Who the fuck are you? Nervous. Who the fuck is that? Oh my god! What? What's that in your other hand? Who is that? Go away. Leave me alone. Is he a stalker? Oh. Oh my god. Why does he have a hammer? We gonna die. Mitzi? Oh. Mitzi, we have a problem. We have a problem, Mitzi. Is that eye of Adam? Um. Is there anything I can grab? Shit. Mitzi, back the fuck up. We are have. Where's Mitzi? Did I imagine her? Oh my god. She saw me get killed. Was that on purpose? She doesn't seem alarmed. I'm confused. Hi, crow. Nice to see you again. With the eyeball and the crowing. And the yeah. Now what? It's so cute! Where the fuck am I? I guess he- did he kill me or did he just like... I always keep getting kidnapped, man. I keep getting kidnapped. Examine padlock. Ugh. I'm not good at this kind of shit. Whatever. What? Wait, what? This is my house. This is my house. This is not my house. This was my house. This is not my house. What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is happening? Oh my god. What is this? Wall? I couldn't- I didn't even try going through the door! Fuck! I don't think I'm strong enough. Examine. Seems trapped in a living room while it's- not really in my apartment. Okay, is this somebody else's apartment? What is this? Help me. Open- wait. Open? My fingers are too thick, I need to sharp- What? The back of the mirror seems loose. What does that mean? Brad! Um, move it. Uh, there's a knife underneath. God, knives are- Okay, okay. We're gonna use the knife to- We're gonna use? Okay. A key. What's in that? A lever? What the fuck is this place? Pull the lever. What the fuck is this? Just throw me into another situation. Push. I don't think I have enough to break this wall. Um. Mace, break that shit? Where the fuck am I, though? What is this shit? I have a key now. Okay, so... I'm in the underworld again, so I have to kill another person! Is this just like how it is? Like I have to keep killing people? I have no control over it. Blow out. Just pick the middle one. Who did I kill this time? Who the fuck did I kill this time? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was necessary. Why did I have to kill another person? Like, will it let me out? Is that why? Okay. Piano. Can't do anything with that. Okay, we're back here. Door. What the fuck is that? 
It sounds almost robotic, but it's like a centipede? Monster, look at it. What is this thing? I think the worst thing about it is it looks a little bit like me. Oh, does it? What is that? What is it doing? Stab it! Smack it! Uh, stab it! Die, monster! It, did it work? Oh, what? Look! Oh my god, am I still in the mental hospital? Because look! In the mirror, I'm still wearing- Oh my god, is that like an operating- That's like an operating table, and I'm being operated on. Because look! Yes! I'm in the hospital! Because cause if you look in the mirror, I'm wearing a fucking um, hospital apron thing. I don't know if I'm still stuck in the psych ward, or if I'm literally just being operated on, but this is crazy. So I'm still dead right now. Junk. Can't see anything useful. There are old parts of boats. Why am I on a boat? Ship. Hard to tell the distance, but it looks completely abandoned. Why the fuck are we here? Probably just fall apart if I got in. It's so old and rotten, though. Huh. This is interesting. I can't understand most of it. It's all technical stuff. Wait, what's this? Minimum passenger handling capacity 2. How bizarre. Elevator? Or the lift? An elevator. Would it take me under the surface of the sea? Doesn't look very safe, but it might be the only way out of here. Activate! There's no power. Oops. There's no power. It must be activated somewhere else. Maybe that building at the bottom of the pier. I gotta turn shit on now. I'm just gonna use all my items everywhere I see something. Because I've learned in this game, you gotta do that. I don't know why we stab random stuff. I don't know why that's an option. Can I stab this? Can I stab the padlock? No. Can I stab... Stab, stabby, rippy, stab, stab. Can I stab over here? Maybe if I go like this, maybe I have to play off my reflection. No. What the fuck, man? Why is this happening? It's so weird. I'm still in the hospital, I believe. Lots of corpses. I couldn't figure out the code, guys. I'm sorry. So I just looked it up. It's... I know it's kind of cheating, but I didn't want to take too long on this part. So it's, um, three, eight, four. Because I don't know where we would even, like, find that code from. I couldn't find it. Uh, panel... Examine. It's a small hole on the other side of the panel. I guess some kind of lever. Operate it. The lever's missing. Okay, okay then. Well, I mean... Panel. <sighs> Operate it. Operator's missing. I mean, it's missing. Guess I could use this, right? This works as a handle. Maybe. Possibly. Yes, no, maybe so. Operate. Okay. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's for crushing. Oh, I see me on the other side there. Okay, crush myself. I gotta crush myself? I don't know why, but I gotta crush myself. Crush me. Right? Oh, okay, it's to make myself move, I guess. Forcing myself to move. Okay. Then we're gonna put this here. Then we're gonna... We're gonna operate. Move, Susan. Well, she is difficult, isn't she? What is the point of this? Why are we doing this? Machinery. Look at. 
when I first visited this wicked world, back there was a blood turned on it. Oh, it's the same machinery! I've seen this machinery before, when I first visited the wicked world of the dead. Back then, my, it was my blood that turned it on. Main panel. Examine. Looks different from the other ones. Operate. Oh. That's coming from above, but I can't see what's making it. Okay, I guess we need two levers, yeah. We'll we'll take this lever then. Kind of see what we got to do here. It's like force her to keep moving. And then like go into a saw cuz we're morbid like that, right? Then we got to put one in here and ya. Like nya. Then operate that cuz then she can't walk back. It's pretty easy to figure out now. And then we're gonna take this one out. And then we're gonna put it in ya. We're gonna put it in ya. Alrighty then. Then we're gonna take this one out. We're gonna put it in ya. Like ya. And then make her fucking move into the saw. Now, I'm gonna take this one out. I'm gonna put it in ya. Yes. And then we're gonna murder myself, because I think that's what we're supposed to do. Sorry, me. Yay! Okay! I don't know why I had to murder myself, but that's what we gotta do. Can I take my levers back? No. Okay, we just have a knife now. So did she fall? Did myself fall down here? Oh! Maybe she fell into the elevator because it needs like a capacity of two or something, right? I don't really know. I'm kind of guessing here. I've been trying to stab this thing because I feel like I'm supposed to, but it's not really letting me every time I try. See, it doesn't let me. I don't know why it's not working. We're just gonna head to the elevator because I don't know what I'm doing. Is this junk ever gonna be useful? Ever? No. Had to try. Had to try. Walking, walking, walking. Wish we could run Susan. Da 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 da. Walking, walking, walking. Na, 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 na. I like how everything's always different though. Like, now we're in a sea place. I wasn't expecting that. Can we use it? Power's on. Still not working. There must be something else I'm missing. I don't know. Do I need to stab it? Nope. It has something to do with the fidgeting monster, but I don't know how we're supposed to... How are we supposed to deal with it? Let's keep stabbing it, Susan. No. He needs to die. I don't know why it's not working. Oh! Thought it stopped moving for a second. But no, it's still fucking moving. I don't know, I, I guess I'm not... I swear I have to stab it. I swear I do. I just don't think it's working properly. I've tried stabbing it like 10 different ways. I don't know if it's working. Like, it's not making noise. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, 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 it worked this time. I don't know why this time. It I don't know what happened. Oh, drug Susan. Drugged up Susan, why are you here? You still in the hospital? Are we? Maybe we really are insane. I'm starting to question it. Well, we got a capacity of two now. I thought it was because like your dead body fell on the elevator, but nope. I don't know, I tried stabbing the monster like billions of times and it didn't work. Just positioned myself slightly different and bam, it died. I don't know. 
Scam is tricky. Why are you my dear? Oh no, it's dead. Oh no, what's this? Not a single sound. Come on, Susan, we gotta go. Reaches my ears. Susan, come on. Come on. Walk faster. Stop being drugged up and walk your fucking legs. We're going now. Goodbye, other world. It's weird, though. That other world was a mixture of my house and a water place. This music is really good, though. I love the game music. It's great. Oh! Whoa! Dead bodies. Not like we don't see enough of those in this game. Oh! Oh no! Oh! Nor um, drugged up Susan. We're stuck in this elevator. The pressure of the ocean is compressing us to- we're gonna- this is a horrible way to die. It's terrifying. This is terrifying. I would not want to go that way. Are those children? Oh my god. Oh! Mitzi! Mitzi, why are we in the bathtub is together? That you behind my back, Mitzi. Miss Ashworth. I thought... I thought you were dead. Kind of, but... I saw but that man hit you right in the head. I'm okay. Me? Dead? No. No. I'm a tough old girl. <laughs> you can't kill me that easily. So was that the Eye of Adam? Stop asking stupid questions. We have no time for that. Let's calm down, yeah? Yeah. Okay. I can do that. What's this? Duct tape. He really covered us in duct yeah, tape. Yeah, he had loads of that stuff. I see that. Maybe we can break this tape if we pull really hard. Why is he in our well, apartment? We had to try. Why? It's pointless. <laughs> We're completely wrapped in this damn tape. We're just caterpillars at this point. We're cocoons. Mm -hmm. Stuck in a web. Waiting to be eaten. But where's the spider? He's gonna play with us first, isn't he? Don't say that, Mitzi. Don't say that. Pull yourself together and stop talking shit. I can't think properly. So any ideas? How about those lock picks that you always carry with you? How about those lock picks that you always carry with you? You know, the ones you got from your dad and used to break into this place? But we aren't locked in a room, are we? Well, I don't know, Mitzi. I'm trying my best. In case you forgot. How is a lockpick going to help here? I don't know. It's probably sharp. You could use it to cut this tape. That's what I thought. Well, even if that was the case, I can't reach it anyway. Well, Mitzi, so you're just such a canter. And think of something else, all right? Stop being a canter. Uh, so any ideas? You hurt you? Let's use a sharp knife that it, to cut the tape then, shall we? Let's use this sharp knife to cut the tape then, shall we? What? You've got a knife? Yeah, but I'm sorry. I just remembered. I can't reach it. <laughs> so let's forget the knife and think of something else, yeah? What the fuck? Oh, you are a nasty piece of work, <laughs> I say. I really believed you had a knife. You shouldn't joke about it, you know. It's cruel. It wasn't a joke. I lied to you. <laughs> and you lied about the lockpicks, didn't you? Oh. You don't really have them. Oh. Who are you to call me a liar? Um, I can't reach the damn lockpicks. It's the truth. Oh, uh, we shouldn't be arguing in the bathtub covered really? in duct tape. Yes, but clearly my word isn't enough. Can you stop you know fighting? What? I'll show you when this is over. If we're not chopped into little pieces, packed in plastic shopping bags and dumped in the trash, that is. Maybe it won't come to that. Oh my god, guys. He might just throw our bodies in the river or bury them in the woods. Maybe there won't be any shopping. Dudes! Stop! Always an optimist. Did he hurt Did you? He hurt you? That bastard packs a hell of a punch. Oh, he punched I've you. I've got a bit of a headache. 
I think I'm all right. What about you, Mrs. A? Me? Fresh as a daisy. <laughs> but I'll feel better after we've dealt with this unpleasant guest of ours. We're good at murdering people, Mitzi. It's think okay. he's going to rape us? No, he is not. We gotta kill him first. Don't worry. I'll figure something out. This is... Let's just wait for him to come this back. This is not gonna happen. Sooner or later, they always make a mistake. It's not gonna happen. Miss A, I'm sorry I had upset you. I shouldn't have pushed you so hard. Stop doing I'm that! Sorry about the mug, too. We're gonna die if you keep it's doing that! All right. Water under the bridge. So, uh, any ideas? Not that many, really. None at all, actually. I'm sorry. Can't we just, like, roll and out you, of the bathtub? What do you think we should do? Bite him? I don't know. We should kill the fucker. Yeah. <laughs> what? We're tied up. Are you going to headbutt him today? I was just going to say, let's headbutt him today. There's no other way. <laughs> Come on, there's got to be something more sensible we can do. I'm not going to die here. Hey. Not like this. Sheep headbutt each other to death. It's not that different. Maybe we, together we can... Pull this pipe off the wall. Maybe together we can pull this pipe off the wall. Maybe. How is that exactly going to help us? Something. Stop asking stupid questions and pull with me. <laughs> oh. Go. Yay! Water. Maybe it will loosen the adhesive? Great. That's just what we needed. <laughs> A cold shower. Maybe at least in the adhesive. I used to like flowers. You I know. used to like flowers. You oh know, yeah, she hates like them. Like everyone else, or even more. There was this guy. I should have told him from the start I wasn't interested. But I didn't. Maybe I was interested. In a way, probably. Flattered would be a better word. It was ten years ago. I can hardly even remember him now. He did that thing every week, because he knew Eric was at work, and I was in the flat, alone. So, every Friday night, I'd get flowers delivered by a courier. Is it the same guy? Who's Eric? Your partner? Oh, no. My husband. He was a taxi driver. Worked every weekend. And I was still on maternity leave. Oh, no! Zoe, our little daughter, was only six months old at the time. Well, five months and 28 days exactly. She would be 11 now. Anyway, that one Friday evening's courier had delivered a big bouquet of the most beautiful lilies. Usually, I would have thrown them away, but I really liked them. Somehow, they were extraordinary. Absolutely stunning, and looked very expensive. I stood there looking at them, mesmerized. I didn't even hear the phone ring at first, but then I heard it loud and clear, as if I'd woken up from a strange dream, and I knew it was him calling. Oh, we're, we're young Susan. Look at us. We wear colors and there's flowers and our apartment looks nicer. We look a lot younger. Wow. Oh, anyway, um, I'm actually going to stop it here for today, guys, because I can't really play anymore. I've played for quite a while. It was quite an interesting ride. We got to go to a pier and see a boat and a bunch of other shit. And now we're going to actually learn more about Susan's past, which I've been very interested in from the start. She hasn't wanted to talk about her husband. Now I learned she actually had a kid at some point and something really bad happened which is why she doesn't like flowers thank you for watching if you haven't already please like and subscribe to my channel and please watch again on the next episode of the cat lady mitty fox here pop punchy one out i'm gonna put it in ya yes and then we're gonna murder myself because i think that's what we're supposed to do sorry me Yay!